Hello, this is Michael Trabun's RV Center here to congratulate you on your Flagstaff SE 206 STSE pop-up travel trailer. I'm going to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite and a few things to think about when you're parking this. First off, you're going to have to have room for a bed on each end. Plenty of room for your awning. But I also want you to think about how your power and water connections are going to connect. Or where they're going to be at. They're actually going to be just above your tire. Both your power and your water connection. So park accordingly so you can utilize facilities at the campsite. And you have enough room to enjoy your trailer. Once you arrive, first thing we do is level our unit. Your unit comes with a hand crank tongue jack. To the right will bring you up. To the left will bring you down. Looks like you got a pretty flat top right here. Looks like you probably set your uh, level right on top of that and run this up and down to your level. Once you are level... Next thing we're going to do is stabilize it. So all four corners of your unit have these three quarter inch scissor stabilizing jacks. And the hand crank will bring these down. As I start to run these down, I am going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt, debris, hot black top in the summer. Really good investment. Grab a four pack of those, put them on the ground, and run these down on top of them. Now remember our units already level so we're only going to run these down until they're taut once you've got some resistance on here and it feels like it's going to start to lift your unit stop get all four of them down you got our unit level and stable we can go ahead and open this thing up let's go ahead and unlatch all of these Before I get it up, I want to show you up here. That's going to be your Wi-Fi extender. I'll show you where to hook that up inside. we are already to turn that on. This could be your solar controller or your solar panel. And then your AC unit. And last over here, you've got a hand crank vent to open up indoors. All right, so we got all four of them unlatched. Come up here to our power lift. And I'm going to press up. goes up pretty quickly. We're watching that green wire. Now that wire is taunt. That's when we're going to be all the way up. There you go. We're all the way up. Now we're simply going to grab this. Actually, before pulling these out, I'm, we're going to go ahead and set up the safety bars on this one. Just because these bars are a little bit higher up in here compared to the back. So let's go inside our unit here. Apologies, bars. You see the ones that say front has a long and short end. Our long end is going to sit in here. Where's our short end? And set down here. Okay, so that was set. We'll get these two up in front. I'm gonna show you how the back ones go in. Now the front one, here's the back one. Back one's not as much of a difference here. But again, Bottom slot there, up here, you'll see how that sets in. Let's go ahead and get all four of them in. We've got our bars on, we're just going to come up underneath here, grab a hold of this loop, and pull this bed straight out. You'll feel it lock out for you. They're harder to reach for those with short arms. You can literally grab a hold of this anywhere and pull it out. Now, on these corners, we're going to have a snap. It's going to go up underneath here and snap in. And then we're going to Velcro all the way down.
We're gonna do that on both ends. Then we're gonna come along the sides and flip these open, zip these down. We're gonna put in our safety straps, safety bars. So we got two of them, chiseled end and a square end. Chiseled end's gonna go up top. Doesn't matter where you put them, but what does matter is where the opposite one goes. So this one's gonna go in the back corner. We'll put the other one in the front corner. Had this one been here, the other one will go in the other corner. So this is pretty much safety brackets. Uh, hold the whole thing up in case of a malfunction in the motor. Make sure you remove these before you bring this down, which we'll talk about then. All right, safety brackets on. We're gonna go inside. And put these bunks out. As we come in, I'm gonna turn on my ceiling lights so that when I walk forward and I get ready to lift this uh, table here, I'm gonna come up here and push this button. That button is what's gonna turn our lights on. Grab your handle, lift up. Bam, lights on. All right. So real quick, I'll start with our bunks. The bar's gonna be underneath your bunk. That's what I like to call a shepherd's hook. You got a curve on that end, or straight on this end. This straight end, I go up and over the top of our holder here. And right into this slot. We're simply gonna, once we're in that slot, we're simply gonna push this out. And tuck it up in there. All right, so that was definitely a two-handed job. Now we're going to go along here. We're going to zip all these down. We're going to bring up our cushions and set our table up. Let's do that real quick. All right, we got this all set up. Let me go ahead and show you how we're going to set our water up. All right, at campsites, you're going to hook up to a city water connection. I recommend a water pressure regulator. Hook that up. Hook up your hose. Don't turn that hose on yet. Let's hook up. Let's uh, come to your hot water heater here and put our drain plug in. Throw a little plumber's tape around that, not putty. Plumber's tape, get that in there nice and snug. Then you can go ahead and turn that hose on. After that hose has been on for a couple minutes, go up inside there. Open up your water taps. Get a nice steady flow of water going through them, all the air out of the lines. Shut them off and you're all set to camp. Now let's say we're going to go camping and we're, gonna use, we're not going to be at a campsite. We're going to go dry camping. In that case, we're going to fill up our fresh water tank. No need for a water pressure regulator here. You can just gravity fill this with a hose. The way to tell it's full is right here is an overflow valve. Don't leave this unattended while you're filling it. Once it's full, put that cap back on. And then whenever you're out boondocking and you want to utilize that water, you can turn on your water pump indoors. Don't turn on your water pump and hook to city water. That's already pressurized. All right, you're all set up with power and water. Let me walk you around the rest of the unit. Continuing up here in our uh, hot water heater. If this doesn't seem to be working for some reason, come out here to see if either one of these are bubbled up. If they are, just press them back in or a reset button. You have a spray port hose that will hook up to this hot and cold. You need a shower there. There's a low point drain there. So flu for your furnace, a couple things on that. One, make sure you steer clear of it when you run it. It does get hot. Uh, don't put nothing in front of it either. Make sure it's not blocked. Fresh water. Again, our power, power cord, or this is our uh, AC cord that we hooked up before running it up. Power, city water, and cable if you've got cable at a campsite. Spare tire has a cover. Keep that on there. Keeps it from dry rotting. Over here is your Quick Connect LP, and then a lip to set your griddle and grill up on. Also have a 110, outdoor speakers, your antenna, a porch light. These are where the arms for your awning will set into, and then your big storage area. Up front is your propane, just lefty loosey to that on that. There is a regulator up front. 
Pointing toward the tank you wish to be using, green means you've got gas. Again, check your battery post every now and then, make sure nothing's wiggled loose. Go ahead and check out the inside. So coming immediately in the door here is going to be a 110. Here's your Wi-Fi Ranger info. I'll send you a separate video from uh, Flagstaff on this Wi-Fi Ranger. Ceiling lights, awning lights, your Wi-Fi. Sound system, got a nice little AM, FM, Bluetooth radio here. I don't know if I'll pick up anything inside this metal building. Let's see if we can get a station to come in. I wouldn't do There's your indoor speaker. And here's your outdoor. Or both. Again, AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary, charging port. Touch it once to mute it, hold it in to shut it off. Going forward underneath our dinette area over here is going to be your solar controller panel. I'll send you a, a video from GP Electric on that. Your only concern is to make sure that you keep it on a wet battery. Over here is uh, where you turn on your inverter if you're out boondocking and you need uh, some power to run something. Here's your water pump. That should be got on to off. Down here's uh, your 12 volt carbon dioxide propane detector. Come around the corner under the table is our breaker box and fuses. I see a 10, 2.5, 20, 30, 15, 40, big variety in there. Grab a variety pack and make sure you have that with you when you go camping. Over here is going to be a 110 with GFCI reset. So mentioned before, each of your bunks has a plug-in light and fan, as well as each one of these will plug in on the end of your bed to give you a heated mattress. This is a table extension. It will simply fit. Easy with two hands. But yeah, get that in there. There's your table extension. There we go. Again, that's a fold down table. We'll put that away. There's your griddle. These are a couple of pantries. Simply open up that plastic and hang it. Oh, from these pieces over here, once your door is down. Dinette. Underneath the one toward the griddle. Will be your access panel to your water pump. Continuing in here, the kitchen is going to be where our furnace uh, heat return. I'm going to crank that up. There's that. Put that back off. Uh, coming over here, we've got an ever, ever chill fridge. It will take a minute for that fan to cycle through before that shuts off. Here's where you turn on your water heater. And down here's a couple charging ports. Up here, you will use a stick lighter to light these. And your sink. Make sure you drain all these before leaving the campsite. Now the indoor speaker. 110 and lastly your fire extinguisher make sure that you and everyone is camp with you knows where the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway this is a last but i do want to show you your ac working here real quick and then high fan cool it's chilly in here in no time and your smoke alarm about covers everything on the inside. It's act like we're gonna leave the campsite and close the unit up. So I'm gonna start with my table area. I 
again in this process. Other sleeping quarters if you needed it. That to show you is your toilet area. Just remove this, remove this cushion, lift up on that, and there's your porta potty. Leave that under there as I put everything away and start tucking cushions down and getting everything flat. I right, flattened everything down before bringing this down, which is going to shut off our lights. I'm going to bring our mattresses down. Should I say our covers for our mattresses? All right, so the last thing we're going to do on the inside here. Is lift up, set this down. That's our unit. Now here we're gonna have to take out our safety brackets. Put them away in here. Remove our safety brackets. Remove our under under brackets. Now I found the easiest way to do these is literally just get up underneath them, lift them up with your back or shoulder, and then we'll pull right up out of there very easily. Let's go around and get all four of them out. Alright, so next we're gonna go around. We're gonna unsnap, unvelcro, unstring all of our corners, unzip. That's gonna allow us. To lift up a little bit and then push on the slide. And slide your bed right in. Do the same thing down here. Make sure this is unzipped. Allows us to move better. And push. So now I'm gonna go wrong. I'm going to start tucking things in so that our safety brackets are out. I bring this down. I should come about halfway. And then go along and tuck everything in. And then I'll generally bring it down for about a hand to fit in there. Get everything tucked away. Our safety string. Moving them and tucking them, moving them and tucking them. You can do this about two, three times, and we're all set. We'll bring this the rest of the way down. Reach up with that, snap that in, unplug our AC unit, tuck that wire back up inside here. Get all these brackets on. Unhook our power, our water, our cable. Bring up our stabilizing jacks. Come over to your hot water heater. Lift up on that pressure release valve. Now it's gonna dump hot water out of there. When that's done, push that back down so your door can go back on. Pull your drain plug. Also go around, dump your low point drains. Dump this, this one here. This is from your sink. And then you also have your fresh water drain, which is where that Hose is hooked up right now, and right there is your low point drain. And head on home. Thank you guys so much for your purchase.
Hope you enjoy this Flagstaff for many years to come. Happy camping.